because like with the tanks and the planes at the bottom it's kind of like they're not caring about them and you have the constitution and the bill of rights on the bottom so they toss that way they're above it yeah totally so this this idea that this artist was responding to a specific moment in history this was made in 2005 very tied into these questions about oil and money and the economy how money is made the wars that were happening these figures representing specific political figures that are even labeled in the piece as you pointed out Brandon um, and that these figures as you said Kieran are kind of above the law do you guys remember what we were talking about with those hats and what the, the hats might mean so one of the things we talked about was the, that they might represent dunce caps because they have that kind of triangle shape <coughs> as well yeah Aren't they oil rigs? Yeah, and then they're also shaped like oil rigs. Um, getting back to that kind of issue in 2005, oil and oil kind of funding the Bush administration. Um, we also did the, it's like camouflage, like more with the military. Mm -hmm. And we said the whole thing looked like a crown with the bases, part that rests on your head and then the floor. Yeah, definitely. Thinking about it as an object being like a crown sized object. Yeah, as well. Um, oil seems to kind of be everywhere all over the piece, so it's kind of almost like oil is kind of embedded into our lives. Yeah, the artist is definitely making some statements about what's going on here and what she thinks is happening during this administration, absolutely. Bugs that are under them that we, we said that those was like where they, you know, waste and then like how the gold, the money, so like basically they're waste with money. Absolutely. So underneath all of the chairs, there are chamber pots, which is um, like a old school bathroom, basically. And so this idea that they're, the money is being wasted, literally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Noise. <laughs> the only other thing we should um, probably bring up is, uh, do you guys remember what we talked about um, in terms of the artist? Anything about the artist that we want to talk about or um, like her inspiration? 
for this piece. Maybe we should bring well, it isn't it like inspired by some like vintage, like how they used to make sculptures? I forgot one. Yeah, so like in the 18th, 19th century. And they used um, to be like mm -hmm. conversational pieces that people would put in their like living room. Exactly, exactly. So this comes from a his she's a she's a contemporary artist, she's still alive. Um, but looking at these historic practices of creating ceramic objects like this and in the 18th, 19th century would have been placed on a table as kind of like an expensive object to discuss with the Even people. though it yeah. was made in a certain time, it can still coincide with other events that we're going through. Absolutely, yeah. And I think that's something that we can really pull away from a lot of works of art too, is that we can find things that are relevant to us today. This one wasn't too long ago, so, you know, this is about 10 years, wow, 10 years ago, now I feel old. Yeah, about 10 years ago, um, 2005, now it's 2015. Um, but even so, there's definitely things that resonate with us today. There's issues that this artist is surfacing about politics and the government and the economy um, and the environment that are all still things we're grappling with, right? Um, but even when we think about works of art from even further back, there's even ways to make those kinds of pieces relevant too. Yeah. Um, she chose clay because she liked it. It's a a democratic medium and it's like kind of like the earth its base and that's why she chose that one. Yeah, so this artist, her name is Michelle Erickson, you guys remember? Yeah. So Michelle Erickson is interested in clay exactly because it's this democratic medium and that it's been around for so long um, and that it's really something that can help us ask those questions and think about exactly these kinds of issues.